and the women's individual time trial starts and finishes at Glasgow Green. But uh, to win the last three stages in a row in fine style, Hilltop fin finishes solo. Uh, pretty impressive stuff. Last rider up the course, perhaps the big favourite for today, Lau Linda Willemsen, 29 years of age from New Zealand. Actually born in Herning in Denmark, where the Giro d'Italia started a couple of years ago. She's competed under both Danish and Kiwi licenses. She's been national time trial champion three times in Denmark. She's been the champion in New Zealand, for whom she's competed since the last Commonwealth Games in 2010, where she was second. Michelle Gilmore, can she win it? She can, absolutely. She's in the form physically to win it. It all depends on the uh, mental, you know, the mental state today on the day of the race with uh, Linda Willemsen. But, uh, you know, she's done this one million times. Like we said, the last five years, she's not finished off the podium at the World Championships. That's how consistent she is. Perhaps there's a little bit of a mental block there with taking the next step to win. Maybe there's always someone better. But uh, like you said, also at the Commonwealth Games in Delhi, second again. But uh, she, she definitely has the physical ability to win this race. Looking at one of our favourites here. Philipson then a minute and a half in, settling down, slight uphill, bit of an incline to begin, and again, really going to favour those uh, seasoned time trialists and those who know how to not only manage the effort physically but mentally as well. And with Willemson though. One of the big riders we really are going to try and concentrate on. Silver medal in Florence last year at the World Championships and the time trial. Mentioned that she hasn't been off the podium since 2009. Also won that New Zealand Championship, the Kiwi Championship jersey too. Well, you can see when we look at the other, the other side of the bike there that they've opted to take the power crank off. So she's not riding to power data today. She's got the aerodynamic chain ring on the cranks. You'll see that in a minute when we get that shot. Approaching 6.4 kilometre mark, you can see the arch above. Just cones across the middle of the road here because this is a part of the course that they will come back on each other on the way back in. Well, they're two completely different riders, the two favourites, Willemsen and Pooley. We've got Willemsen here who's more of a solid, strong rider and Pooley who probably favours the longer climbs. So this course perhaps suits Linda Willemsen a little bit more than Emma Pooley because there are hills, but it's more of a strong power riders rather than a zippy little climber type style rider like Emma Pooley. Oh, Willemsen has absolutely destroyed the fastest time. 23.49 seconds quicker, great start. And I'm sure it's something that everybody who looks out for will be very, very pleased about. 23 seconds quicker than Gillo, Archibald in third, Garfoot and Barker. Interesting to see where uh, Pooley's time fits into that. I think we had a little problem with the graphics when she came through. We just saw Linda throw something off the bike there. I didn't quite catch what it was. It might have been a gel. She might have just had something to eat, but we might get another shot at that. Yeah, I had a couple of chats with Linda this morning. Um, I think she was more relaxed than usual, to be to be honest. A lot of tension yesterday, the day before the race. They go out, they do their pre-race drills, all the athletes, also the Australians. They had to do two short three-minute efforts yesterday, the Australians. But the athletes, uh, they, they start to second-guess themselves when they're out do, doing the efforts and they get a little bit nervous. And, but uh, this morning, I saw a lot of smiles on the start line. Linda was quite relaxed, Emma Pooley was making jokes about the wind, bring on the rain, she said bring on the wind, it's just water, it's not going to hurt me. Behind that uh, huge, huge shower, but to this beautiful North Lanarkshire countryside, we got a great experience of that yesterday, it was, it was windy, we had a bit of everything again, certainly everything was on the menu as far as the weather was concerned, but, but it was beautiful views out there and only within 10 to 15 minutes you're out of Glasgow city centre and into the wilderness and the beautiful countryside straight away. It certainly was a lot more windier out there. Well, we weren't moving that fast, were we? Even with a tailwind, uh, Linda Billingson looked quite, quite fast out there. Yeah, you and I were tagging along to the end. First finisher on the day will be Christopher. 37.9 average, 46.5393. Well, we're getting some information here that Emma Pulley's time check at the first six. 0.4 kilometres was slightly faster than Willemsen. One second faster, so it's going to be a very, very close race. 
Linda Willemsen, last girl on the course. Emma Pauli said in the fastest time then at 17.1 kilometers. 36 ahead of Archibald, Garfoot in third place, Gillow bumped down to fourth, Nielsen down in fifth. So Pauli said in the quickest time check there. Willemsen a second and 30 slower. So it's all about more or less the same pace as we saw after 6.4 k's. Very, very constant. And I suppose it's what you'd expect from two of the best exponents of time trialing, which is about keeping that constant power output. Well, for me, it's just unbelievable to believe that they can cover this much distance and still only be without riding next to each other. They're only 1.3 seconds away from each other. For me, it's a phenomenal thing to comprehend that their physical abilities in a straight line when they're not even next to each other, are so close. There's only 1.3 seconds apart, you know, between these two riders that are at different sections on the track. So I think we're looking at the clear fight for gold and silver, certainly between Pooley and Willemsen so far. Chance for a late surge, maybe, from Linda Willemsen, we shall see. But of course, once these differences send to Ted a trend, yeah, it's very, very difficult to pull it back, isn't it? It is very difficult, and mostly mentally. When you hear that you're down, and you're down that far, eight seconds is a lot, actually, in an individual time trial of this distance. So I think Linda Willemsen's probably lost confidence if she's been given that time check, and it would be very, very difficult to pull it back. I asked Emma this morning how many times she'd ridden the course, and she said, I've only done the course two times, and not in its entirety. Uh, she's been out there and checked out half of it and then another half, but uh, in total she said, I've, I've done the course two times, which is not a lot if we compare it to other riders that have done it about 20 times. Two times over the course, and uh, an interesting thing about Willemsen was last year she came second at the World Championships, and she had never once ridden the course in its full length. But here we see Willemsen, this is where it's all going to happen in the last one kilometre, where she can get that time back. So the times and the competitive times are at the bottom of your screen. Willemsen. I don't know, it's going to be close, but I think Pooley might have it in the bag. Willemsen settles down again. Teeth gritty, really going for it here. Linda Willemsen, multiple Danish champion, Kiwi champion, riding home. Start gate, finish gate is there. She might oh, just have it, you know, got she's it. got it. It is gold for Linda Willemsen. 6.03 seconds quicker than Emma Pooley and a huge 14 second swing since the last time gate. Well, she looked to be gaining bit by bit by bit. And as you suggested, Rochelle, on those final few technical terms, the difference has been made. So having those few corners at the finish, was uh, she was eight seconds down at the last time check. So that was really impressive to take back those seconds in the corners. Second in Delhi. Gold here and the party pooper for Emma Pooley. Linda Willemsen wins Commonwealth gold in the women's individual time trial by 6.0. So Linda, obviously a special moment here to win the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. Can you tell us what the first thing that went through your mind was when you crossed the line? Did I get it? <laughs> no, I wasn't I wasn't sure. Eh? I wasn't really sure. I didn't look at the the times and the names on that screen. I just went as fast as I could in the end. Um, that was it. <laughs> Were you getting time checks during the race from your race radio? Not at all, no. I don't like the time checks. I don't like my time. I don't like my heart rate. I don't like my power. I don't have anything. I just pretty much ride as fast as I can for as long as I can, and that's the tech tech. Okay, so in the commentary box, we were thinking that because you were eight seconds down with, with a 10 kilometers to go, that the race was over. So you didn't have that information? No. I do know that I'm... I think I'm better on that last bit, the technical part, the downhill, than I would be on the way out. So perhaps if I would have known, I wouldn't have made it. So sometimes it's better not to know where you are. And... There, was, there was a lot of talk at the World Championships when you came second that you didn't go around the course before the event. How many times did you go around the course, and the, particularly the finish where you made up those seconds in the final? Yeah, we actually only got, got to see that yesterday. So we hadn't seen it before that, and um, I did do I did do it a couple more times than I probably needed to, <laughs> just because I liked it. So yeah. And uh, how many times did you actually go over the finish corners yesterday? Maybe ten laps, <laughs> ten laps of that last two k circuit. So um, I, I knew exactly where they were and, and and all that, but it was a bit different when it was a bit wet today, and it was a bit more slippery than it was yesterday. So I couldn't go as quick. Okay, can you just tell us what the Commonwealth Games gold medal means to you to now have that? 
it's incredible, isn't it? It's something I've worked for for four years now, and uh, just missing out last time was hard. And I came here thinking that that couldn't happen again, and it didn't. So I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. Congratulations. Thank you. The new Commonwealth champion, second in Delhi four years ago, second at the World Championships last year, finally on the top step of an International Games podium. Big moment for the 29-year-old, born in Denmark, and winning gold for New Zealand at these Commonwealth Games. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem... So now time to stand and respect the national anthem of New Zealand. So New Zealand celebrate Linda Willemsen, winner of the individual time trial.